Hello everyone and welcome to episode number 10 of Pendo Outfalls, a City Skylines playthrough. I'm your host, Target, and last episode we started building the first residential district of our city. If you've seen our last episode, you may notice that some things are different and that's because I went ahead and off-camera added some buildings using the Rico mod just to guarantee a smoother transition between our residential district and our office district. But don't worry, you haven't missed anything because today we are going to do the exact same thing on the other side of the district and we are going to finish this part of the city in this very same episode. After that, we are going to build an hospital complex by using some vanilla health buildings. Without further ado, let's start building and I will meet you shortly for a quick progress update. Enjoy the video guys!
Hey there! It's time for another progress update, but before that I want to thank you for the amazing suggestions you guys gave regarding names for our office district. There was one suggestion that uh, stood out the most to me, which was from a guy whose name is quite difficult to pronounce, but he had the word banana written on it, so I'm just going to call him banana. He suggested the name uh, Pendo Financial District, which I thought was quite appropriate. So I went ahead and named our office district just like that. So thank you so much, Banana. Your suggestion is highly appreciated. And likewise, if you guys have any other suggestions regarding names for our residential district that we have just built, or any other part of our city, for that matter of fact, please let me know on the comment section down below and I will consider it. Regarding the time lapse, you saw me place these buildings manually using the Rico mod which I then decorated and I have also went ahead off camera and zoned uh, this entire thing with the default zonable building. So these are all vanilla buildings. So let me just show you the detailing I've just done. The first thing you saw me decorate was these um, private condoms which have their own private parking lots which are protected by these uh, safety barriers and the, these security offices. I've also fenced the entire thing and added some vegetation. I think it looks quite nice. I particularly like these trees. I think they have a nice texture and a nice color. Moving on to these um, massive uh, offices, I've done pretty much the exact same thing with their own private parking lots and also with these barriers and offices fencing down the entire thing. What we have here is something quite interesting. Um, this is my attempt at making a crime scene. So these guys, the owners of these two sedans, are using this abandoned construction site or this waste zone to traffic stolen goods. And as you can see, they're using this forklift to pack the crates up onto this truck. But uh, the police just stormed in and now is cleaning up the mess. This guy in particular blocked the entrance and the exit and placed these barriers over here while his colleagues finished the whole thing. I think it's those little things, these details that you add to our city that just had a lot. Um, these little stories that you create around your city make it so much interesting. Then I've also made this custom park with a walkway that goes around the metro station and uh, I put this tile, some fountains and uh, these benches over here and these palm trees, I think it looks quite nice. Then moving on to here, I just place these two uh, parking garages that act like parks and I've made this um, custom park which I think turned out quite nice. This is my favorite part of the time lapse. I had a lot of fun decorating it. I've added quite a bit of detail such as these uh, food carts, these tables and these benches with uh, even the lampposts and some trash cans over here. I like it a lot. Finally I decorated this block again with their own parking lot and uh, I fenced out the entire thing so no strangers can park in here. Overall I think it turned out quite nice. I really like the, the vegetation work that I've done. I think it, it just made this whole thing look a lot better. But now what I want to do is an hospital complex and for that I'm going to use this lot that I have reserved, this entire green space. I already have a mental idea of what I want to do. It's not something very complicated, I'm pretty much just going to use the vanilla buildings for that. And uh, yeah, I'm going to start building and I will see you at the end of the time lapse to wrap up this episode. Until then, enjoy the time lapse.
Hello again everyone. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse. This is the final result of our hospital complex. I am fairly satisfied with it, even though I I think I went a bit too overboard on a vegetation. But oh well, it is what it is. So let me just show you what I've done. We start with this majestic entrance that I have decorated with uh, some palm trees and a lot of bushes and uh, all that kind of uh, fancy trees. I've put plenty of parking lot where people can park their cars and then use these pathways to get into the main building that is the hospital. I've put these offices over here because even though it is a hospital you want to control the entrance to make sure no bad guys get inside the facilities of the hospital. If you turn right when you get into the complex um, you can get to the emergency facilities of the hospital which um, were done basically by plotting the uh, vanilla health clinics and you also find the parking station or the parking lot for the ambulances. I've put a lot of them because they have to support the entire city. If you go left, on the other hand, you have to follow this long road that will eventually lead to our main crematorium stations which I've put over here. They have their own parking lot for the employees who uh, work on these crematoriums and I've also put a parking lot for the hearses that are over here. I couldn't find the vanilla ones on the Steam Workshop so I had to use a custom ones which I believe uh, the brand of this car is a Cadillac but I'm not sure. I've also tried to put a lot of vegetation over here to separate the crematoriums from the main city because let's be honest Nobody wants to wake up to the smell of burning dead bodies. So, yeah. But I think that will be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow the development of this city. And I will see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.